we have an only one eye patient with this corneal scar and he refers reducing in the visual acuity so we guess get there is a cataract if we look up the OCT there is an interface so we will try to do a capsulorexis with a lamellar keratectomy if the deeper stroma is clear as you can see it's not clear so we go to plan b we are going to remove the deep stroma and the decimates membrane and then we will cut this thin lamella and when we reach the anterior chamber we are going to do a can opener capsulotomy with cystitum we hydrate the nucleus and then we use a maneuver which is very helpful in these cases when the pupil is almost close. After hydrodelamination, we nail the cystitum in the nucleus and then we use a spatula to remove it. In these cases, all the movements should be very, very soft. We remove the remaining cortex with the cinchoe cannula and then we fill the bag with viscoelastic and we implant a lens into the bag. After implanting the lens, it's very, very important to remove all the anterior capsule remnants. So we have to complete the capsulotomy to avoid any clouding in the visual axis. We implanted a neo ring, which is a peripheral ring that avoids vascularization of the graft, which is very important in our patient due to superficial and deep vessels invading the donor area. We finish the procedure and after that we check with the OCT how deep is the neo ring. It should be between two thirds and three fourths of the corneal thickness to be really effective.